Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time and show off the junk that we bought thrifting, junking, buying secondhand. Today's that was working at the farmhouse and he's like, hey, you're gonna have to go thrifting by yourself. And I was like, okay. So I bought a few She's things. Like, challenge accepted. I was like, I think I can do this. Anyways, if you love these kinds of videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because we will not disappoint on the junk, the DIYs, the farmhouse renovations, all the things. Yeah, we're building a whole house. If, you, if you're new to the channel, check it out. Zeb's really into the whole house. I'm into buying all the junk. So we have roles in our business. I buy junk, Zeb builds a house. So we're gonna get right to it. Um, Zeb is showing off the butter dish. It's kind of dusty and a little bit it's real greasy, dusty. but we have a dishwasher here, but show them the back. Like that's really cute. It was $1.49. We'll sell it for about $12.95. And I love it because it's just a great butter dish that you can leave out. You could even put a giant bar of French soap. Ooh, Lots of could. people have been using the butter dishes for that. So let's tell them about what happened a little bit while I show them some of these well, things. I mean, like you went to what? five thrift stores today, right? What do you mean what happened? Well, I started at one thrift store and it was kind of dismal. I went to Savers and it was okay. I know I had like half a cart. So then I went to another Savers and I may have spent one or $200. And then once I had already went to two savers, I was like, well, I've got to go pick up these jars that I bought on Marketplace. So when I went across town to pick up the jars, I was like, well, I have to stop at this Goodwill that I haven't been to before. And then there was some more money spent. And then I was like, well, you know, I've already been to two, three. I thought I went to, maybe I only hit four. I don't remember. <laughs> but then I went to a savers on the way home and that's where I bought the hundred pound pig. So it was good all the way around. I don't even think I put that in the description. Oh, that there's a hundred pound pig. You yeah. should, that's like kind of clickbait and it's actually true. So this is just a fun cake plate here, two ninety nine. dollars So I was, I was not present for any of this. So I'm seeing a lot of this stuff with you guys. Well, and we will talk about the pig in a little bit because it was kind of funny. So this yes. was two ninety nine. Oh, someone's asking about my blouse. This no, is actually... they said, oh, another cute shirt. I think they were talking about Oh, no, mine. they're talking about mine. This is new on the website and it's actually one of our less expensive shirts because I got it on clearance. You can buy wholesale clearance. I find it. Anyways. No dome. This, hold on. The shirt's at jamierayvintagehome.com. Check it out. Also, we loaded up French lotions. All right. Now we can talk about this. It was $2.99, and I will probably sell it for like $13.95, $14.95. It's got, do you think that's still silver? Um, it would be stamped if it is. I don't see a um, stamp. It might Donna be plated. Donna from Present Moon was talking about your shirt. Thanks, Donna. His shirt says, junkie friends are the best friends. Hey, Debbie's on here. Tom says, too bad that pig doesn't have wings. Wait till we talk about the pig. Oh my goodness, this pig so, is so... Jamie was describing how heavy it was to me, and then she's like, you'll see when you load it out. It didn't max me out, but it's heavy. It al That's pretty good if it almost maxed you out. So what, do you think that's sterling or just tarnished? I think it's just tarnished. It's cool. It's, it looks like tin. Tin? Yeah, it didn't have any markings. If it if it is silver, it was plated a long time ago and most of it's worn off. Oh, Debbie went junking today. All right, so this actually came in the mail, this boudoir, for me to sell at the shop. And it came from Barbara Morgan Black. And she says, P.S. We use TP as tissue too. If you guys watched when I was sick all winter long, I just brought a roll of toilet paper with me everywhere. Didn't know it was going to be gold in the spring, but... Caitlin was making fun of me anyway. So she also <laughs> uses TP to blow her nose. And this cute little boudoir, um, I don't know how much she paid for it, but we'll probably sell it for about 12-ish dollars. It's actually porcelain. Yeah, it's cool. It's really and it cool and it comes with nails back. in the back. And it's like a mint and gold, which remember last week that mint and gold glass? Mm -hmm. It's very popular. All right, let's, let's turn off my notification. I got you already. Thank you. Candlesticks. Woo -woo. These are the cool, these are the good kind of uh, glass color and well, yeah, they're very thick. Look how thick that is. What size am I wearing? Okay, so this is a size small and my Victoria's Secret padded situation, it's a little snug. So if you're top heavy, I'm 150 pounds wearing a small, I would say I could easily wear a medium. But that gives you a size wise. But everywhere else, it's like nice and flowy. It's good when you're hot and sweaty in the summer and you need airflow. And it's very lightweight, which I like. Okay. Right, so those were $2.99, did you I say? I will sell those for, I'll sell the pair for probably like $14.95. I mean, this is metal and this is actually pretty heavy duty. Um, got some good rust on the back. 
Yeah, I love it. It didn't have glass in it when I got it. It was like $9.99 and we'll probably sell it for like $30-ish, dollars, 35 It's a big lantern. Like, show them when it's your forearm. Hold on, I, I gotta see if this opens. Oh, it does open. So you can't actually okay, put a candle in there. Oh, yeah, so the shirt, some of the shirts only go up to large. However, you guys, I put up two graphic tees today that are unisex that go up to a 2XL, which in women's would actually be like a 3XL. So check out the ones for 4th of July. It says USA Bay, and the other one says Believe on it. It's better when you believe. And both of those go up to 2XL, which is unisex, so that's just slightly larger than a regular 2XL. So check those graphic tees out. And they're less expensive than my other graphic tees. So also a bonus, because I got them on clearance too. All right. There's another note here. There is, is that... that's what some junk we're gonna show in a little bit. Um, oh, is okay. the Junkie Friends t-shirt for sale? So this, not the one you're actually wearing. Thanks, Jen, because that might be weird. Um, these are our logo wear shirts, and you can get them at jamierayvintage.com. So our regular paint and product website. And also, if you should, I have a shirt that says, Zeb, can you fix this? So those are also on the regular Jamie Ray Vintage website. Thanks, Jen. Okay. Um, Jamie got a clock without me. How dare you? you Joe, got two did you clocks. get your gift from SD? I have not seen anything yet, but I haven't checked the mail room. So I will. All right. Is that a, it is a pig. All right. Look, I bought a clock for you. $6.99. And it's a good, it's a good size. It's a good shape. It's. About as tall as my arm, so probably Thanks, about Caitlin, 15 inches. Thanks, Caitlin, for dropping that link. 15 yeah. inches tall. So the tag on the back says what? $27.95, yeah. and you got it for $6.99. I'll probably sell it for about $22 once we repaint it. I loved the shape. I actually love the face on it, too. So I think we'll just pop that clock out, give it a good paint job. Fix the, the finial's a little crooked on, you know, the little... Yeah, I was trying to bend it. I felt like it was going to break. So Yeah, it's like, screwed in, so I think you just need to straighten out the screw. Um, there Jane, we go. I know, Lucy. I, buy, I like clocks. I just don't understand why Zeb has to buy all the giant clocks, because he doesn't usually get to them. Little mm -hmm. clocks we get to. Who doesn't like the giant clocks? Nobody doesn't like the giant clocks, Zeb. Actually, a customer came in today was asking me about one from a few weeks ago, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I... And we haven't painted it, so we don't have it finished. It's probably in the basement. All right, show them the other one. <clears throat> this is the other clock. I liked it because it looked like a bird cage. This one, why would, why do thrift stores have to put the sticker on the, on face. the face? You think of you stuff? can get that off? Like they do it on pictures. They do oh, it. Oh, Donna got her shirt. On clocks. They do it on mirrors. Don, Donna's my little friend. We're twinners. She likes to check out the shirts I have. Donna, just so you know, I ordered that sweater that we both have in rust. It's coming in olive, and I'm so excited. All right, do you think you can get that off without? Done. The Savers tags You're are awesome. actually a lot nicer than the DI the tags. The cake plate I'll sell for $14.95. I think I said it, but it could have also been just up here. And we not. were also talking about clothes then. so I get so distracted. Fashion, junk, it's just all... So this work. one came with a battery, and it's working. I actually did not bring... Um, a battery with me because I didn't have Zeb. I didn't have my guy with a battery in the pocket. So did you say how much this one would be? Oh, um, that's probably like $19.95. It's not as nice as the other one, so yeah. But it is cool. Yeah, it's cool. And the face, it unscrews, so it'll be really easy to paint. You can just take the clock out, paint it, good. <clears throat> All right, so I love this plate. This is one of many dishes. This, I haven't looked up the brand. It looks like it doesn't, it has one little kind of chippish, but it's got patina in the chip. So it happened a long time ago. Upper Hanley. Upper Hanley. And I love it because it says it's semi-porcelain. Like, what is semi-porcelain? I don't know. And the brand is from Let's England. see if you I can show you the like crackle on European. there. Oh, you can see the crackle. Oh, Odelia's on here. Hey, Odelia. Odelia hung out at home today. Jack and Eliza came to the shop with me. Jack put, if you guys buy any soap or any of the new lotions, Jack put most of the tags on those. <laughs> today he was very excited. He was working towards... A new Hot Wheels because his dad got a new Hot Wheels from Heidi, a Corvette. Heidi, and Jack wants himself. One, Heidi so got me a Corvette. Corvette for the garage. It's like this big. Jamie's like Heidi got you a Corvette. I'm like, oh really? That's cool. And then she handed me. You the know Hot that Wheels, Heidi didn't buy you a real one. I know, but, but she it did was order it, on Amazon. it was still exciting. And then yeah. the boys were like trying to get it from me all day. I'm like, this is my. It boy. says it looks like the Willow print. So I don't know anything about this. It says uh, pottery. Here, I'm gonna hand it. Something to Something about England. Fairfax, how much was that? 
It was a dollar ninety nine, and it's stamped number five on it. You can see the maker's mark there. And it's all crazed, which I love, like all the cracking. Some people think that that devaluates it, but I love that. So I don't know what it's worth, but I will probably not sell it for less than twenty dollars because it would look really good in my buffet. My grandma's dishes. I actually said I didn't have china, but I do. My grandma's dishes are brown transferware. <gasps> Super chat, nineteen ninety nine, celebrating the end of school. Thank you, Sally. Oh, Debbie said, oh, Jack, I missed that little man. You should have seen him. He was like, he had all the soaps. He organized them and he put the stickers on. And when he put them up, he made sure the, the bird was facing forward the right direction. He's good. Yeah. He's, he pays Our attention Tabula to that stuff. My He's granny very has detailed that dinner where she it. still uses it. Well, I have one plate. So me and your granny are almost twinners turn. Yeah. All right. So I just thought this was cute. Little Dollar purple 99. violets. Probably sell for like $6.95. I don't know. Does it have a maker? I couldn't. I didn't recognize the maker on that. I can't make it out. <laughs> it's like very faint. Maybe someone will recognize the shape of the logo. The girly says she has one she bought in England and it crackled the same. So, Les, what's Les talking about? Jamie, for your new buffet, flow blue dishes for display or plain ironstone. Oh, for sure ironstone. I have that on my list. And crockery. Um, this is kind of an odd color for you. I will give Deb, I'll give Jack a hug for you, Auntie Deb. He, she, he has two Auntie Debs. He has my sister, Deborah, and then Debbie. Jen says, train them early, uh, junk in painting and tagging. So that came from Cheryl Atkinson. Oh, okay. So we're still getting through, Cheryl sent me, I think, like five boxes. It's a really cool shape. We're still getting through Cheryl's goodness. So that would be really awesome with, like, flowers coming out of it. Or I think it's small enough on the top you could even fit a taper candle in there. Yeah, There's I would paint that. I love the, the amber. So good for fall. Like I know when people see that they're like, oh, 70s. But when fall rolls around, you can never have enough amber glass. You put it with like some arrangements, some cotton in there and give some fall colors and people scoop that up. Plus mid-century modern is making oh, yeah. its way into like modern farmhouse decor. Like it's coming on. Renee says he only has one Auntie Nay. He actually has three Aunt Debras because he has a great Aunt Debra. Zeb has yep. an Aunt Debra. I have an Aunt Debra. She's super sweet. The pigs come and Sally, slow your roll. All right, so this card came from Cheryl Atkinson too and she wrote the sweetest letter which I won't read to you all but um, she found us right after she moved and she was helping take care of her daughter and her two grandbabies because her daughter was really sick and it was just a really sweet letter so the best part of what we do is getting to um, connect with people I was talking to my friend Diane about that today and her business um, Cheryl's business is Mimi Ria's Reloved Treasures and she sent that cute little tag which I'm like, dang, if these are her tags she uses on her store, I'm going to have to oh. up my game. Mine are not that cute. Oh, Robert says that her, their Goodwills are be opening tomorrow. They're going to be full. Ooh. They're going to be full. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, so let's get back to the thrift haul here. I don't know what that is, actually. Um, so it's got this hook here. <laughs> it's to hang on the wall. It's brass. It's patinaed. I don't think that, is that for hanging on the wall? You hang it on the wall like that and leave oh. the stuff hanging out the front? Debbie, I will come visit as soon as Zeb gets the farmhouse finished. So, July-ish? Yeah. I'm coming to the fashion district with you. So, how much did I pay for that? It says lot, meaning it probably was at an auction house at some point. $3.99. I paid $3.99. I would probably sell it for $19.95 because I love the way it's forged and like the nails and stuff in there. So, it's it really says cool. India Exotics, handmade in India. Debbie says chop chop. Oh, it's a handle to help pour it. Oh, so you can like kind of just put like, your finger in there. Looks like an umbrella stand. I think it's a little too small. Umbrellas. Hi, how is Harrington doing with selling knives? You know what? People are buying knives. <laughs> he sold a He's lot. my kid. He can He's sell snow to an Eskimo. He sold a lot of knives. <laughs> <laughs> he's like dad i can't help you today because i have 18 appointments <laughs> and then he called me when he was gonna because he he's i left him alone at the farmhouse and he was putting some blocking in and he got some in there kind of brass or coal i don't know uh, it's brass but i don't know that he wouldn't put coal in it mm, i don't think so debbie needs a knife i know debbie i'm gonna get you some screenshots i told him he's got to take screenshots of the pricing and the knives for people that are busy <laughs> but anyway, he uh, he was going to come over to the farmhouse. He's like, hey, Why? I have someone. Could you, you could totally put ice in this for a wine bucket or sparkling cider. <laughs> he had someone reschedule on him. And oh, it's for fire kindling. I'm that makes gonna sense. I'm going to get my story out. Stop reading comments. Oh, sorry. I will stop interrupting you. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just trying to finish. 
Uh, anyway, he was going to come by at like 3 today. He's like, I can't. I had someone rescheduled for 3.45, and apparently he sold them some knives too. But that was it. That's all the story. That's the story. Yeah. All right. I stopped interrupting you. I'm like interrupting Pete. All right. Caitlin was talking something about Jamie will online shop for clothes. It's just harder to get out to the store. Yeah, I don't. I don't go. Unless it's a thrift store. I don't really go to the store much. So Red Wing Stoneware, Red Wing, uh, Minnesota. So Red Wing makes all like the vintage Crocs and stuff that have the wing on them, Seb. And it's red, hence the name Red Wing. I yes. don't think this is vintage based off of the stamp, but it was like, I think she said $1.49 because it didn't have a price. Sorry. Um, and I don't know how much it's worth. I, I got to look it up, but Jamie stop. Okay, Sharon, I'll stop talking over Seb. I'll just be quiet. No, don't do that. Just, it's, it, you were just reading comments about the urn thing, what would go in there, and I wasn't getting my, my story fast enough. I gotta be fast. <laughs> um, Wendy says she thinks it's an ash bucket, and Debbie says that we remind her of her and her sister. It's so true. You know, you just get to talking, and you know, you, she's reading comments over here. I'm looking at, like, you, stuff and not listening to what she's saying. These are my friends, and I only get to talk to them on Saturday night, and I'm talking to them about junk, and it's like, it's like Disneyland for me. So I can't help it. So, so this little pig was two ninety nine. When I spied it on the counter, I was like, what is that clown pig? So one of my employees, who's one of my very best friends, we've been friends since Harrington was five, her daughter Eve loves pigs. And I know she's going to want that pig, but that pig is going to be like $95 because it's bomb. So I was like, here's your consolation pig. So that one's for Eve. That, that's all there is to it. This so is it cost me $3, but it's priceless because Eve is... Stinking cute, and I can't handle not buying her pig. So, that's all there is. They said it's terrifying. I think it's to put a tea light in. I don't yeah, know. you put a light in it. Scrubby sponge holder. Oh, actually, that makes more sense. A scrubby sponge. You can oh, totally put your yeah. scrubbies next to your sink. That'd be so cute. A clown pig. It is a clown pig. We need to support. Oh, I do support local business. I do local pickup. I just don't go inside. <laughs> I call them. I drive in the front. And they and let me tell you, I'm single-handedly supporting all the restaurants in town because I don't cook. So There's just no time right now. Don't worry about it. We I am definitely spreading out the situation. Is, My favorites are all like the ones on Main Street, like the party store, the donut shop, the ice cream truck, the snow cone shop. I guess it's all food. So you yeah. get my point. Is this from uh that's from Cheryl, Cheryl. Too, and it's cute. Show them. It's got like a it's little really cool. Dutch milk girl on it. It says, uh, Grandma Wheaton's Whole Milk, South Jersey's Best. Oh, Sandy has a good tip. And Sandy, I just signed up for that today at Savers. If you sign up for their club, every time you spend $100, which I did a few times today, you get 20% off. So the last time I went to Savers today, I saved 20%. And I still have one more 20%, and then I've already racked up more points. So basically every time I go, I spend like $100. So then I'll always get 20% off. So I'm excited. Debbie said her Botox lady's open. She's got an appointment. I She's going appointment, in. But I didn't have time for it. So I've got to reschedule. They don't make them early enough in the morning. My lash lady will get me at 6 a.m. All right. What's the best piece of furniture that you sell painted? Connor, that's a good question. Probably buffets and today bar stools. I sold five bar stools today. I didn't. Like I was in the back tagging soap, but the shop sold five bar stools and small tables, which we'll show you some in a little bit. All right. So this is thick glass. Um, and you know me, like this is heavy. I love when you pick up a piece of glass and it's not like you're going to fling it over your shoulder. Like this has some weight to it and it's perfect for like a sauce, like a chocolate sauce over cream puffs, an individual syrup. Not quite enough for an individual serving of gravy at our family, but it's just really cute. And it's got like a good design on the bottom and scalloped edge. How much was that? So this was $1.49. It's got a couple of little chips, but you know, a little 220 grit sanding paper, and that'll smooth those out. You'll still be able to see the chips, but they won't be sharp and they won't chip off more. Cause... I didn't even know I had chips. I just saw the thick glass. I was like, I need that. She's like, I gotta have it. All right, how much was it though? $1.49. Oh, $1.49. I'll stop for like... Three ninety-five or four ninety-five. We Not will much. talk about the pig. I'm waiting to. Caitlin says I love curbside everything. I do not want to take off my sweats. I've been doing curbside be before curbside was trending. We've been doing it for a while now. Yeah, it's my life. 
All right. I, it looks like a magic, like a treasure chest, right? It is like a treasure chest. Four ninety nine. We'll sell it for around twenty two. It's the embossed tin, which you guys know that I love because you paint it and you use white wax, and it's money. And I think it's someone bought it for five dollars from the DI, and then they took it back to the Savers, and the Savers sold it for four ninety nine. And I used my coupon on it, so I got twenty percent off of that. Mm -hmm. I got twenty percent off the pig too. Which is good because Savers and Goodwill charge tax. Does anybody know if I give them my, my resale license, if I cannot pay sales tax? Probably not. Because I normally shop at DI and they don't charge it, so I've never had it's to. It's probably not. Is that velvet inside? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was cool. It's got like, I love all the embossed detail, and I think once it gets a non-gaudy paint job, it'll be good. Well, it's just, it's like brass right now. Which I don't mind I don't even brass. know if it's brass. I think it's, it's tin. just tin. Yeah. Please paint the box tonight. Wendy, done. I will, if we get to it. Oh my goodness, we have so much. We've, we got some more stuff coming through, but I'm trying to. This might to, be an hour and a half. I'm trying time. to keep us focused here. This is the candlestick. Candlestick. That's from Goodwill, and it was like, I think a dollar ninety nine because Goodwill now prices everything flat rate. Yeah, if it's on the aisle. So I should have brought mine. Unless receipt. it's specially marked, it's it's a dollar ninety nine. And we'll sell it for about fourteen bucks, thirteen ninety five. It's and I cool. loved how many like curves it had. Yeah, it's got a lot of copes. All right, Goodwill doesn't charge sales tax. Well, they do here, Pam. And I'm gonna have to give them my sales tax ID. Wendy says, oh, you can paint the velvet inside. The velvet's in good condition, I won't paint it. So this is Peach Luster Wear from Fire King, if I remember correctly. Super shiny. It is my absolute all-time vintage, like favorite vintage dishware. It doesn't fly off the shelves, but I just think it's gorgeous. And I scored a whole ton of it, some, some of it from multiple different savers. I think one family divvied up all the lusterware and they each got tired of it at the same time and dropped it off at different savers. Or sometimes what happens is they have one donation center that gets a lot oh, of stuff. Oh, Goodwill won't charge tax with your business exemption. Oh. John, you're the lady. I have my license saved on my phone, so I'm totally going to show that next time. Thank you. I knew you guys would know. All right, I'm going to show you these quick. These were Marlene all... Marlene said I left those for you when I was there. Oh, Marlene, did you leave those at Savers? <laughs> did you turn them in? So that actually came with all of these. It was $5.99. I really don't know individually. I have not looked up the pricing. Probably somewhere around like... Three to four dollars per bowl. So, Leslie, I saw your test. So your comments are getting through. They want. They keep saying, "Bring home the bacon." They want to see the pig. the pig. The pig's coming. It's got a. I'm only gonna move we it. We have once. to make room. It's so, not like something we can lift up. It's. <laughs> I would say. How much was this bowl? The bowl. I'm not sure. All right. Let's let's we'll do all the peach lusterware. $1.99 for the bowl. Yeah, I'll sell that for like $9.95. Okay, hold on. This shirt has a little bit of a peak, so I'm going to not. So these are $1.29 each. These will be like $3 or $4.95. And then hold on. Little mini casserole dishes. $3.99 for all of them. I'll probably sell them like $3.95 individually. I need to look up. Because the thing about these is I'll price them individually because people sometimes just need to complete a set. So I'm thinking about having a whole section of just dishes on the website. And these so have two handles. Individual pieces. And have, has anybody sold dishes on Etsy? Because I was thinking about putting some on Etsy. Because I have an Etsy store where I sell some paint and stuff, but I was thinking about putting other products on it. All right, we're going to move the peach lusterware. I'm going to move it over here where it's safe. Poor Zeb, can't get a word in edgewise. Sandy, is this your first time watching the show? All right, I need a bigger store. I do. I actually have quite yep. a bit of room. We got lots of space. I'm not kidding. I can't go the bank. All right, I tried to push it. Is Peach Lusterware oven safe? I don't know. I have to Google it. It's Fire King, so I would assume so. There it is. There's the pig. How come you moved it so easy? I told like you I'm it didn't literally out of breath. I told you it didn't max me out. Okay, so do you think it's solid cement? Tell me about this pig. How do you think this sucker is made? Like, it, this it, is the, this I is think the pig. it is solid cement because it's got this post here in the middle that's holding everything up and supporting it. But, and the way it's cast, I mean, it's it's all one piece. It's not hollow. So I was... Like, you can hear it. Listen. I was at Savers, and this is the last thing I saw at the last Savers. And I turned left because they have just a few more things and then you get to close and I don't buy clothes there. And I saw the pig on the ground. So I went to pick up the pig and I'm like, are you kidding me? So this kid 
Well, he's probably like 30, but I, he looked like a kid to me. I was like, oh, I'll get that for you. He popped a hernia like right there, but he didn't want to admit that he couldn't. So he put it in my cart. Then he followed me through the store and then he's trying to load it in the expedition. I'm like, he's going to scratch my car. But he got it in the car. Almost died. But anyways, <laughs> it was $19.99 and I will sell it for probably, I was like, are you looking down my shirt? Sweet. Hey. Some pig. That's I'm going to sell it for $99.95 because I feel like <laughs> if you bought this at a high-end store, it does have a little bit of battle damage. I'm going to, I'm going to sand that right now. I think that this pig would probably be somewhere around the $200 range. Like it's awesome. Slap that pig. All right. All right Anyways, I'm going to move um, it now. Super chat. Hold on. Did Zeb get promoted? Promoted to what? What do we want to call you? He's the farmhouse manager. I manage the, he, although he does all the payroll for the shop and scheduling. I do all of the other stuff. And he manages the farmhouse, but I crack the whip on the contractors. So. Here's the thing. I'm cute. She's real nice and sweet to him. And me, I'm just another guy out there working. <laughs> yeah, I am kind of nice. All right. Uh, did I tip him? No. Dang it. I should have. I'll go back less. I think I was just trying to get all my junk loaded. I didn't even think about that. And who has cash? Cash is dirty. I'm like, do you take credit cards? But I will definitely do that. I made Zeb blush. Paint the pig why? boho. I am not painting that pig, Debbie. Oh, why not? Why no, I'm not going to paint the pig. the pig. The cement is awesome. Apothecary pig. Apothecary pig. No, I'm just going to put the pig out in the front yard with a $99.95 price tag on it. And if somebody wants it enough, I guess, to steal it, then they probably need the pig worse than me. Um, so this shelf was $2.99. How much for the amber vase? Where's the vase? Uh, it's the one that we took over there. I would say like $8.95. If you want to buy anything, you guys can email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. This one right here. Just add the info at. And Caitlin can get you pricing and shipping. So this was $2.99, but we didn't tell them how much we sell for. Well, you if, took it. Or if we paint it. $2.99, and it'll sell for $24.95. $24.95. Okay, I love the detail. Detail on it, and those sell fast in the store. Rhonda says that she got her shelf like that. And what is Odelia saying? Something about is the shelf gray? No, it's like black, it's black, brown, black metal. I'll paint it and put white wax on it. So someone dropped off some canasta cards. No, I bought that at the Goodwill. They're vintage canasta. So at Goodwill, you guys, they have bags like this, and they're dollar ninety nine. And I have no idea how much these are worth. It came with some clips. We'll put those in the office. But it came with, it's new in the pack, new old stock. And it says score pad and magnetic pencil, both for only a dollar. The magnetic pencil was taken, probably by some kid. And it literally was a dollar from a store back probably in the 70s. And uh, canasta, and it's like uh, metal. This part, like brass or something. What do you think this is up here? Oh, that's brass. It's brass on the top. That's a high-end canasta card And it's card like, set. probably, this is not wood, I don't think, but it's some of that, like, that heavy-duty cardboard. Anyways, it was $1.99, and I think it's probably worth at least, you know, like $12.95. All right. I'm moving on. All right. Uh, Leslie says she used to play canasta. I've never actually played it. All right, horse. Bought the horse, as it was like the animal store. Bought the horse with the pig for $9.99. We'll sell it for probably $49.95. And the horse is going to get a paint job. Probably farm fresh or weathered wood. I, <laughs> Look at that. The pig is attacking. I can't take you anywhere. I, I don't know what's going on with this little tail. It must be a show horse or it's about to poo. Um, no, this is totally, yeah, this is... We will not be shipping the pig. That is absolute. There will be Oh, no, we'd have to we put that thing on a pallet. Yeah. No. My shipping girls would strangle me. Debbie says she'll buy the pig, put it in the truck when we come to Cali. Debbie, if you want, if you want to buy the pig, you're going to need to email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. <laughs> Jamie just like, <laughs> just like everybody else. <laughs> just kidding. You can text me. I'll save it for you. So the horse is really cool. It's a little disproportionate, like Jean it's a little says fat she'll on the body. She me if I ship that. <laughs> She's on. She needs a pig. All right, I'll sell it to you. Anyways, 
So this one is $9.99. It will sell for $49.95. But what do you think it's made of? Is it like resin? Yeah, it's resin. But it's cool. I love anything equestrian. I just think it's a little too like 1995 uh in Chinese import store, and we just need to farmhouse it up. You gonna paint it white and distress it? No, I was gonna paint it apothecary. Apothecary horse. All right. Christy would not be too happy. Yeah, Christy and Jean would both strike me. I'd All like right. to see both of them lift it. Yeah, I couldn't even scoot it across the table. This was $1.99. I love to buy fake fruit and flowers at the thrift store because it's way cheaper than the regular store. So I would not probably always sell these. I just use them for staging. So this doesn't have a price on it. Is this from Goodwill or from Cheryl? It's like a little domed glass. It's recycled. It says made in Spain, recycled glass. I just thought it was cool. A little bell. I, mean, I love anything made in Europe. I think it was like a $1.99 because it was Goodwill. So it's flat pricing. It's like one of those things you put the candle on. And I'll probably sell it for like $8.95. So she's going to make me help. When I come to visit, I'm gonna deliver the pig to your front of your store and wherever you move it to. I don't think you'll move it. I, I literally, I don't think Debbie and I could move it together. It's that heavy. All right, let's see. Um, Debbie's the bacon queen. Debbie's the bacon queen. I'm the OG bacon queen. All right, focus. $1.99 basket. It'll sell for like $6.95. It's just cute. That's all there is to it. It like, is really, it's like, look at how big it is. It is really cute. Just throw, some, say that. throw some eggs in there and throw it on your bat, on your countertop. And then. Fresh eggs, not not from the grocery store. It's definitely get snuggly. We haven't seen each other all day. It's been a long day. All right, that one was. Dollar forty nine. Yeah, and I'll probably sell for like nine ninety five. And I love these types of baskets for displaying towels. I like roll them all up and fill it with towels, and they sell really well. And then sometimes people buy the basket. So this is just a, like an ironstone pitcher, no markings, $1.99, little, well, it's not enough. It's like a little creamer. It's like a little creamer, yeah. Without the lid. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. And I probably like $9.95, because it's really cute. So. You can put your stuff cute in Cute is the word of the day. Cute, cute. All right. You got all the cute things. Whoa. These are not old, but they are rusty. They would have originally been $7.99 each because they have a tag. They were $1.99 at the Goodwill, and I will sell them for probably $7.99 in the store. These are really cute. I like to display them with flowers, or people will put them on hooks and put, like, something in them. You know how sometimes people have, like, hooks on a shelf? If they want to stage them, they'll use, like, these little baskets. And also, because they have flat surface, people like to paint them and put IOD transfers on them. All right, we're going to rapid fire. Don't look at comments for a I minute. Am... We're not going to make it through this. Okay, so next we have a thick glass pitcher. It was $3.99. It will sell for $14.95. Look how thick. That's, like, three quarters of an inch. This weighs as much as the pig. Kidding. This. These were each $1.95. They will sell for, like... $6.95 each. I'm out of milk glass. $2.99 and this will sell for $19.95. Tarnished silver. Doesn't look to have any maker's marks, but it's cool. This one I liked. This will probably sell for like $22.95. This is Bio King. And it's, oh, thanks, Tanya. Super chat. This is Fire King on the inside. It has a glass dish, but then it's tarnished silver on the back and it's um labeled i can't read it it's very small oh this is double it's got the glass insert yeah so it's 22.95 so you can actually put food on it without it touching the tarnished silver this came from heidi i'll put a plan in it sell it for like 24 dollars plus the cost i'm gonna the start plan. calling her corvette heidi corvette heidi it, it matches my shirt heidi has oh flower sifters Yep, those were $1.99. We sell them for like $12.95 in the shop. That one on the right is my favorite. Like, it's got more branding. It's got branding. Bromwell's Michigan City, Indiana. Although I think that one has a plastic handle and that one has a wood handle. No, they're both, they're both metal. Is that wood? The handle. Oh, you're talking about the crank. Yeah, that one's from Michigan. Where's the other one from? Plastic handle. It doesn't say. I always love buying things that have states on them because people that are from that state will buy it because it's like sentimental value. This one has made in China state on it. Made in China. Hey, there's people made in China that want to buy it. But this but one has the wood handle. not old then because I was going to say that handle looks new. You think that's old? No. 
This? I think the Michigan one is old. The Michigan one is old. They've been doing plastic for years. Yeah. They're both twelve ninety five old or not. Okay. This is a bed pan thing that you put in your bed to warm it up. It's copper. And I think it has some more modern uh, nails in it, but I think it might be legit old. I have no idea how much it's worth. And it's, oh, bed warmer. And it was $12.95, and I will sell it for whatever market value. Is. So <laughs> these are in here, but they're not original to the piece. They are someone's repair. I'm going to tell you that right now, because everything else on this is riveted. Okay. Like I like hammer know. riveted. It's not like I was an like, actual riveted. I like even if it's a repop, it's cute and it's worth at least thirty bucks. But it's probably worth more than that. I don't know what the proper term is it for it. It's I a need bed to watch. Warmer. I need to watch more blacksmithing uh, videos. But anyway, these are compressed yeah. rivets. It's so. copper. It's got a turned handle, like turned wooden handle, and then it's got a little hook on the top. Wow. And I love like the detail that's on it. I just thought it was cool. Very farmhousey. All right. So these I bought at Goodwill. They look like those vintage like uh, tables I've sold before for like a lot of money, but these are actually from Creative Co-op. So the retail value is fourteen dollars. I paid a dollar ninety five, and I'll probably sell them for like nine ninety five a piece. I can't tell if someone's repainted these or if they no, came like No, that's how this. Creative Co-op. Because look at the tag on the back. Yeah, the tag's still on there. So that's how they did them. But they that's were just a cool cute. mirror here. I'm gonna show it yeah. to you close. Do you remember? Careful, the, it's not in very good. I got it. $1.95 and I'll probably sell it for $19.95 and I won't paint it because I love the gold color on it. People are talking. I promise I'm going to get back to comments in a minute. We're going to show okay, all let me these, the these, the pad. these sticks in the background randomly showed up. I have no idea who I, they're from. I don't know, but um, they told, so the gals that were working here, Lauren and Cameron told me that some family dropped them off for me. I love them because they're very tall and I will use those in my fall and my winter display in the store. Hang some ornaments, maybe glitter them. I know Zeb loves glitter. All right. We've got a bunch. Like, we have a ton of those sticks on the back. Ooh. 10 jars. These I got from Facebook Marketplace. She wanted $7 a jar, but I said, well, what would you do if I bought all of them? And she said, five. And I sell them. These ones I sell for $16.95. I haven't sold this style before, so I need to look up the value on it. Um, and these will get listed at JanuaryVintageHome.com because I sold out the last time I had them. So I won't list those. And there's 10 of them. There's three like this and seven like this. One of them's missing a lid, but I have lids. These look like a shop project. $6.99. They're so cool. I just thought they'd be good to like stencil or put a transfer on. They got handles. What kind of wood do you think this is? This is pine. It's just a bit rounded. Are there any number 13? I don't. Patent July 19. This one's a little smaller. 08. This is a number 2 on the bottom. That's a number 10. I have no idea what that means. This one is a number 1. I didn't even know they had numbers on the bottom. 44. F1. 14. Oh my gosh. You guys, I never knew they had them. Four, hold on. Three. Three. And 36. So no 13s. All right. We still have more to show. We have show. a lot more to show, actually. Okay, you got to show the stuff up front in a minute. This was a dollar at the Goodwill. And then these were each $1.99. They're chicken feeders. And they're new from the feed store. They sell them for like, I think, 10 or $12 at the feed store. I'm going to put toilet bowl cleaner on them and make them rusty. And I'm going to sell them for probably like $19.95 on the website. They're good, like 24 inch tall. And these are perfect for fireplaces, coffee tables, centerpieces on a farm table. So they'll sell quickly. And I love that there's six because then I just do one listing, quantity six. So these will be cool. Toilet bowl cleaner, by the way, the ones from Costco. If you sand these with a sander and put toilet bowl cleaner, it gets them all kinds the of... The Costco rusty. toilet bowl cleaner, the Kirkland brand, is the good, that's the good, uh, it makes them look ru real rusty. Move that creepy pig, like right here. <laughs> um, so this was $3.99, $2.99, $1.99, and I will probably sell the entire set for $29.95. This colored glass with this hinge, Always really popular on the website. So $29.95 for those. And then I found a vintage sled 
and I thought it was cute. And how much was that? It was $3.99. Yeah, and I'll probably sell it for like $12.95. Another lantern. This one's missing the topper, but it has glass and it did not have a price and it was $5.99. Originally from Pier 1 and that makes it more valuable because they're going out of business. Um, and I'm sad about that. I bought my very first new set of furniture from them. It was wicker. I had it in a long time. It was wicker because that's all I could afford, but I was very excited. Later. I'll sell this for about $24.95. I sell a lot of lanterns. This one actually might be more like $30. It's really tall. All right. Oh my. Ah. Oh. All right. We're all. Zeb, why are you getting so close? We have all that stuff over there. I'll show it in a minute. Okay. So these books have a little bit of. So it doesn't look very exciting, right? Look at the pattern on these Reader's Digest books. I've actually never seen I have never seen like that, that before, and I have three of them. So normally I sell these my old books for like five dollars, but I'm gonna sell them for $14.95 each because they're stinking gorgeous and they are in pristine condition, like they're new old stock. And I have that, those two. And you know how I knew? I was like looking and the, the this one was ripped a little bit and I saw a little peak. And I was like, oh, those are good. Anyway, so I've got three. This one's my favorite. Oh no, maybe these two. They're just gorgeous. So there we go. Anyways, love these. These are gonna be more expensive because they're awesome. Here, let's keep and them in their we'll keep bindings it. so that so they stay nice. These are from the 60s and they're new old stock. And then these are just like your run of the mill old books and we sell them for five dollars unless i look them up and they're worth more i just really loved the colors what do you think no those look those they were good like together. sitting just like this on the shelf and i was like oh my gosh these are awesome well and it's getting harder to find them too yeah. like that you know what's funny do you guys ever merchandise the thrift store like some stuff i leave stuff behind but i'll like i found these little creamers that i didn't buy and i staged them together maybe somebody will buy them because they're merchandised all right, this also came from Cheryl Atkinson. She sent some really cool stuff. I really I love these little rulers. I don't think that Zeb rulers. is going to get rid of these rulers because he's obsessed with measuring tools. I think you're right. You know what? I, I right. measure stuff all day long. So all this day. is Mantiques that Zeb loves. So Cheryl knocked it out of the park with these. Failed it. This is a um, atomizer, I believe. Also a rusty Mantique, probably something that will live with Zeb. So this has been sharpened. I'm going to assume it's some sort of kitchen utensil or used for like a roughing gouge for like a bowl or something like I've that. I've not seen it, but I'm sure that Zeb will... Zeb usually actually cleans the rust off of his old tools and then he uses them. So, so this, this edge can be sharpened all the way around. So I'm thinking it's like a scraper of some sort, but I've never seen this yeah. shape. These were good. So. I was super, super excited. And a so, bowl. And a bowl. It's missing one of the feet fell off, but we'll blow it back it, on. It looks like it's already been it's glued vintage. before it found us. We'll clean off that little smudge and I'll just leave it natural wood. You know I know how to glue some stuff. All right. <laughs> um, Jessica says she does it too. It's like her OCD. She likes to merchandise. I do have to say the Google and Salt Lake up their game at their end caps. They had yellow, red, blue, pink. That also came from Cheryl. So and I'll paint it because it's high gloss. Complete with um, sisters, twins. It's like a built-in family date? in there. I don't know. But the the frame itself is actually really good. Yeah. Wendy says she stages at Goodwill too. Um, the Reader's Digest <laughs> get thrown out Goodwill. here. The milk glass sells for twenty five cents. The silver plates are never over three dollars. No one wants them. Well, I sell them all day long here in the Utah. Especially Reader's Digest are not as exciting, but those ones with the beautiful covers definitely will sell. So this is so why this the, the thrift haul, I'm going to bring the camera big down. Big purchase of the day. A few of them were broke, so the broken ones I will fix and keep for myself. I looked up the set. It has 43 pieces that are not chipped or broken. And this maker is Heritage Hall. And I paid $99.95 for the set of 43 unbroken pieces. There's a couple that are broken. Um, and I looked them up on eBay, and they sell anywhere from $500 to $700 a set. So I'm going to probably list them all individually. I just need to look up pricing. And I love brown transferware because, like I said, my grandma's dishes are brown transferware, and that's something that's always really, really been special to me. And, like, this broke. 
so I don't care. That's just gonna glue this back together for me and I will display this on my buffet. So I feel like this is probably the piece de resistance because everybody passed it up because it was $100. I just Googled it and I was like, whoa. These are selling anywhere, 500, 600, even $700 for, um, and there's a bunch more, but I'm not gonna show you all the pieces because it would take forever, but we're super excited about that. So, Rave says her mother's China is ground transfer wire. Yeah, I love it. Um, I think Dillard's actually still makes the set. It's 43 pieces, I believe, of this set that are unbroken or chipped. I need to go through each one individually and check the condition of them, but definitely worth the $99.95. If nothing else, I loved it, and I'm always willing to spend, uh, splurge a little if it's something that I might well, want to keep. Well, and we'll have some open shelving around and a whole pantry that you could, like, store stuff in. We need yeah. to start looking for either Does Hutch. that mean we can entertain? I don't care who sees it. Everybody's going to see it. It's going to be on the YouTube. <laughs> Someone has a set like that on Marketplace for $300. So you know if it's $300 on Marketplace... You can easily get five to six hundred on places like Etsy and eBay. So we need I knew to start thinking about how to uh, set up the pantry because I got the light fixed and put in there today. I rewired your old busted, crusty you barn light. Are the man? All right, Zeb's gonna show you. For whatever reason, Goodwill and Little Savers vanity have chair. cheap furniture. So four ninety nine for this vanity chair plus tax because I didn't know I could get no tax. Um, oh, thanks. You like my shirt? It's on the website. Um. I'll probably sell this for like $29.95. Definitely going to replace the um, vinyl. It's a Pasco original, and I love that it has the, it's from Los Angeles, California. Pacific Cali Cage Furniture is what it's called. California. <laughs> and um, I just love the way it's made. She's still riding that junk high from all the thrifting. It's true. I should probably take a breath, but I love that. So that'll sell for about $30 in my store. And then we also have another chair and two little tables. And then we're going to paint some stuff. So we'll probably wind up being over our one hour mark. But it was $500 worth of junk. It took a minute. Plus Cheryl's. I only made it through one more box of hers. All right, this came from Heidi. I will probably spray this white and distress it. And I'll sell it for about $69.95. It looks it's like it's made to hang hardware. on the wall. Yeah, this is made to hang on the wall. It's perfect if you don't have a big um, kitchen and you want to have like a hutch. Yeah. Ikea well, makes one very similar, but this is actually cool. You could display like small plates or something back here too. Yeah. It's got the little groove. Somebody displayed cups because you can see mm -hmm. where they all lived for very many years. I had three more pieces over here. All right. Okay. So they said spices too. Um, I was, somebody asked me, and I can't remember who it was, what big sellers were. Little tables sell well. I paid $9.95 for this. We'll paint this and sell it for like $45. It's a two-tiered oak table. Um, oh, it's for cups and saucers. Is and this chicken from Heidi? Too? That's from Heidi. It'll sell for $24.95, maybe $29.95. It's a tall chicken. It's a rooster. And then we have a chair and another table. Zeb's going to show you. Phew! Did we make it? Did we make yeah. it through this huge thrift? Oh, um, Kai Love, which is Janice. Did I remember her name? You did. <gasps> I remembered it this week. Um, she says you could use it for essential oils. You could put a lot of essential oils in that, like probably a hundred bottles. <laughs> Can Heidi be my friend, right? I don't know. Okay, that's why Zeb's wearing his junkie friends and the best friend shirts, because they really are. Okay, so this shirt, this shirt, this was $4.99 for this chair. It's maple, I believe. It's definitely vintage. The fabric needs to be changed. It's a little dusty. Um, and we'll sell it for between $40 and $50. Generally, I will paint these because the maple isn't very popular. I'll, and then I'll do like a grain sack seat. And they sell, with a grain sack seat, they sell for $50 plus because grain sacks are kind of expensive. So maybe $59.99 if it has a grain sack. And... It's not wobbly, so Zeb doesn't have to fix it. I love chairs that aren't wobbly. Hold on, I already panned and showed them. Well, I'm showing them all at once. Okay. <laughs> oh, Tarnia has to go to lunch at her mother-in-law's. Have fun, Tarnia! All right. And this table is super roached, so I'm glad it was only $7.99. It's, it, it's tall and skinny, and I love pieces like that because a lot of people have small entries, and that table is going to be perfect for somebody's entryway. It needs a little, look okay, at it, has got a weevil wobble. It needs a little zip. That's all it needs. Oh, and it looks like it used to have a drawer in the front that's also missing. Caitlin wants the, oh, 
Laura wants the first clock unpainted. Okay, we won't paint that. Got to email Anything her. Anything else we're not remember. supposed to paint. You better email Caitlin. Okay. Do I um, sell the love glass T-shirt? Yes. If you like, if you want the I like thick glass, that's at JanuaryVintage.com. What are you painting, Jamie? What did they want you to paint? Did you set it over to the side there? Um, I'm gonna paint this chest. So could you give me? What are we painting? Oh, let's paint the horse. Okay, I'll paint you the paint, horse. Are you gonna paint the horse? Okay. Can yeah. you give me what paint color should I do on this? I don't know. You hey. and you get the paint, and I will paint it any color you want. She, Ivana, I'm not even going to repeat that. You guys, I just want to show you how fancy I am. I was cold today, and I'm wearing Star Wars socks with my rose gold Burks. I feel like those are Redricks. No, they're actually yours. Are those my socks? They are. They're stamps, so they don't match. I don't know who these characters are, though. Can you tell me? This is some sort of, like, pilot. Who's this? Uh, that's Han Solo Han in his Solo. hop gear. And who's this one? That's the, uh, I can't ever remember. They really go well that's with That's a Wumba. Shirt. A Wumba. It was 40 degrees last night, and today it was cold off and on. Kayla says that's hardcore. I'm hardcore like that. All right, what am I painting this? I'm painting this gravel road. Then I'm going to need clear no, and dark wax. No, ring gravel road? I just had that in my that's, head. That's fine. Can you get me clear and dark wax, though? Yeah. Um, what approximately would you pay for buffet dressers like I usually buy? Um, for buffets, I pay up to two or three hundred, depends on what I'm doing with it. The one that we just did for our video that went up yesterday was it yesterday. Yeah. Last night was two twenty-five, and it was worth every penny. It was it was five hundred on marketplace, and then no one wanted it at five hundred, and so she okay. brought it down to two fifty, and then Jamie's like, "I'll come get it tonight for two twenty-five." No, I said two hundred. And oh. she said, we'll meet in the middle at 2.25. All right, I'm going to need clear and white wax for this faux show. That lid has not been on there very tight because this paint is thick. If your paint's ever too thick, you can just add water to it. <laughs> Look at that. It's okay. It still works. It just covers better. Do we have a heat gun? Because I'm going to need a heat gun this. I will. If you want the paint and products we use, you can pick those up at jamierayvintage.com and we actually have some paper clay in stock i gotta count for caitlin and we still have some of the first generation iod that's 20 percent off and you don't need a code for that so definitely check that out well he's got big billowy sleeves i'm trying not to get it in the paint job i don't know how dion always looks so cute and never gets paint on her clothes i'm not that girl I'm going to try a color mix that I've never tried before because I want to know. No, I love that horse. What? No, no, you can not. No, I what? bought the horse. It's can, no. tarnished pearl and boho. No, you can paint this whatever color you want. The horse has to be farm fresh or pot carry. Like farm I, fresh like or I pot really, carry? Yes, please. Please don't paint those colors. I'll think you about can paint it. a box those colors. Do not paint the horse those colors. I'm going to not, I'm not color mixing. I'm going to just mix it together. No. And it's going to be a close to apothecary color. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. I love that horse. I never can find horses. If that horse looks bad. I can repaint it. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's they said not blue. Right. I, Cheryl said not blue, and she just gave you all those mantiques. Cheryl, what color should you paint? She sent us all that good stuff. we got to listen to her. Zeb will start telling me, Cheryl, you're not the boss of me. Jamie, would you give a shout out to my granddaughter? She earned her BS in psychology. She was supposed to walk yesterday. The ceremony was canceled due to the situation. Um, yeah, Susie, what is your granddaughter's name? I will totally give her a shout out. Although if she got a BS in psychology, she's cooler than I am. That's a lot of work. I think Zeb's sister Katie has a BS in psychology. Doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. And she got it right after she had a baby. Like she had a baby, she went right back to school and then she got her BS. Like. She took four days off or something crazy like that. All right. What's her name? Let's see. Wet, weathered Wood Apothecary. I don't think Zeb's going to listen to us. All right, Susie, what's your granddaughter's name? <laughs> Renee says let Zeb do what he wants. What the? 
I never find horses, and I saw that, and I really wanted well, to. Well, right now I can't find anything to mix it in, so you're you're get your luck. So Les far. says go Zeb. Les, I know that Zeb's your favorite. He's my favorite too, so I don't blame you. I literally was so excited to see him because we, I was working all day, then junking after I dropped the kids off to Odelia today, and I have, we've not been able to hang out. All right, she's Brianna. Congratulations, Brianna. That is awesome. She's going to be a doctor in psychology. That's amazing. Hats off to you. I lasted about half a semester in college. All right. All right. Let's see. Team Jamie, Team Zeb. Zeb can do whatever he wants. It's just paint. If I don't like it, I'll paint Truth it Truth be told, I usually do do whatever I want. I just said do do. Do do. Zeb does whatever he wants. That is true. Um, <laughs> people think that I like him in charge, and I'm like, let me just tell you right now, when Zeb doesn't want to do something, there ain't nothing in the world that's going to make him do it. <laughs> uh, that's usually when he throws a big fit, I just give in because it's resistance is futile. I'm a very, uh, uh, throwing a big fit is kind of... Like well, you're a, a big guy. I'm very... Uh, when you roar, I'm like, all right, whatever you say. Don't roar. You don't roar. Our neighbors beg to differ. The, I ask the kids, who's scarier, dad or me? And they're well, like, of course, dad. I'm a, I always tell the kids, I'm the scariest thing in this house. Go to bed. <laughs> when they're scared. I'm, I'm the Disneyland parent. I'm like, let me sugar you up. You want to stay up late? No problem. Oh, come right. on, guys. Look how cool that is. Rave says, nice Star Trek quote. We, Zeb and I watch Star Trek every night. We just watched all of Next Generation, and we're currently binge-watching The Voyager. You know, I didn't like Voyager when I was a kid. I, I didn't... Uh, I, but we get it now. I didn't, I didn't love it. But, you, you know, it's a lot better watching it as an adult now. Would you grab me the heat gun? This is the new formula for Tarnished Pearl. It's like a really light gray that looks warm in certain lights it's got like a warm tone ivana to calls her oh odelia says it depends whether my mom is hungry or not that is true and then i just eat and it's fine um leslie said i was always the scary one and cheryl says it's gonna look good so will since cheryl said you can we'll allow it cheryl's queen for the day all right so can you pass me the heat gun though because if i get it i'm gonna there's branches to the left and a big man to my right Unless I crawl under the table. Can you put it under the table, though, because it knocks I'm going to just bring you the whole thing. because you guys Have I watched plug. Discovery? Yes, I cannot wait for season two, but I'm hoping they don't drop the F-bomb because they totally ruined Picard. I make Donna from Crescent Moon. I need it plugged in. It's over there. It's over there. Oh, I make Donna from Crescent Moon pre-watch all the Picards, and she tells me whether it's okay. <laughs> that's, that's when you know you have a good friend. All right, that's a little mm, going more. My, um, Linda says, we have a niece who is doctor of psychology. I love psychology in college. My teacher was the best. And Crescent Moon says, LOL. It's true. Donna knows. But that's how Maybe someday I'll get this horse painted. I'm already done. The boho is so dark. The bohemian blue is like such, it's so pigmented. <laughs> so Zeb mixed uh, bohemian blue and tarnished pearl, the new one. And I used gravel road that had the lid not on very well because it was very thick. If you're new to this paint, you can paint almost anything with it. It's kind of crazy. And I love it because it makes my projects go really fast. It's a DIY paint. Oh, amazing coverage. Amazing coverage. It's made by Debbie. If you guys see Debbie's Design Diary, that's her brand. Hold on, I'm trying not to get my shirt in it. Done. Ray, Ray says, I don't remember F-bombs. If you watch Picard, there's a few of them. I'm like, that is so not Star trek -y. It's whoever is, um, who's the new d director? I don't know. Odelia says, don't use it for face paint. It chips off. I don't know how we know that, Odelia. <laughs> yes, I am going to clear and dark wax and maybe a little white dry brush. Because um, gravel road is like not super dark, so if I white wax it, I feel like it really won't show the detail. So I'm going to wet distress it, and then I will black or dark wax or whatever Zeb grabs. I, I already brought you waxes. They're right there. Oh, do you bring any wax brushes? 
Oh, no, I didn't bring you wax brushes yet. Odelia says she knows about the face paint chipping off because of 8th grade Halloween. She was a pickle. I painted her face fancy farm girl, and it chipped off on her face. Can Kelly acrylic go over milk paint? Yes, um, as long as it's not chippy. Debbie says, oh, Zeb, that looks like the blue from France. I would say it's a little bit more um, turquoise though. All right, so my formula was probably about a third uh, bohemian blue to two-thirds of the new tarnished pearl formula, and it's given it, it really toned down the bohemian blue, which is, it's fine, it stands up all on its own, but it kind of muted it a little bit and made it more creamy. Oh shoot, Debbie says, is there a way to know which shirts are an extra large? I don't think there's a way to search for that, but I will look into that. I'm sorry, our, I just started selling clothes, so I'm trying to figure out the website. But I might, maybe I'll have Odilia um, organize the clothes next week, and then she'll be like, clothes that only come small, medium, large, clothes that go up to extra large, and then the clothes that go up to 2X. I did order, like I said, I have some t-shirts now, the Bay USA and the Believe shirt, go up to 2XL, which is a unisex, and then I ordered two new, two or three new plus size items this last week, so when they come in, I'll let you guys know. This horse has so much detail on it. <laughs> I'm going to be here all Debbie day. Debbie says it's good. You should be there all day. You didn't listen to me. If I add a little black dress to some wax, would it work like black, black wax? Yes. You can use DIY's clear wax, and you can make any color you want. Just know that when you're adding the paint to the wax, it dries out a little faster, so you got to be on the hustle. Yes. And you got to get the consistency and stir it really well, but yes, you can. She says, I got a text from Susan that says that horse is a Tang Dynasty reproduction and the small ones are about $100. Well, it's too late, Susan. Caitlin didn't tell us soon enough. Well, it's resin, so I don't know. Well, I mean, resin reproduction. We'll just, we'll sell this one for $100. Maybe. I was going to sell it for $50, but I mean, I could ask $99, but $95 for it. It's cool. I don't know if somebody will pay for it. The brass thing could be for fireplace tools. I don't think the brass thing we showed would do that because it was too, um, it was Light. too small. Yeah. It's a stylized Chinese horse with a wrapped tail. Oh, so it's not poopy? No, they, they... I knew it wasn't pooping. They... It would make a horse that pooped. They... I mean, did maybe. you say that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Those in resin aren't rare and worth as much. All right, good. Then it's back to $50. Oh, it's the same color as your shirt almost. That shirt is more blue and less green in real life, but pretty close. Did I sell my last apothecary dog? Yes, we have no more apothecary dogs. I'm trying to think if we have any painted animals right now. I think this is the only one. Oh, it reminds of the Brady Bunch had a horse like you that. You know what? You could probably white wax this, and then, then it gets you close to your farm fresh color. Well, kind of. Uh, if anybody asked a question when we were rapid fire going through all this, oh, okay. Um, and we missed your questions, now's a good time to ask them. And anytime you miss a, a question, you can PM us on Facebook. Um, Caitlin responds to those, but she will go to us if it's a question that needs our answering. And we are always happy to help, so. Caitlin's getting pretty good. She can pretty much answer all the paint questions. They, they want it white wax. I agree with that. Okay, this is almost dry. I don't suggest using a heat gun. We just use it on for television magic. I don't know if I can get to the white wax because I'm going to have to dry it and put a second coat and dry it again. All right. We'll have to show you the, the horse white Cheryl, wax. Cheryl, when are your chickens coming? They're supposed to come this week. I need to... Um, contact the chicken breeder, is that what you call them? The chicken hatcher, and just see um, if they are on schedule, because I haven't gotten anything from them. 
Do we have any like wipes or a rag or anything? I can paint that if you would find me some of the wet distresses. I'm done if you want to start hitting it with a... Oh, I can do that. Okay. Caitlin says her boys want to see my chickens. Well, Caitlin's bringing the boys over tomorrow. They'll have to come over again once they get there. We don't have any chickens. All right. Stencil that box. I'm not going to stencil the box because it's embossed. So it has a lot of really great detail all on it. I got a rag. I'm going to go get it wet. You I'm going to drive a horse's foot. Right? What? <laughs> yeah, wet. <laughs> Caitlin says it's okay. They'll come back. Yeah. Now that things are opening up, I have not seen Katie's boys. I've mailed them a present, but I haven't seen them since the whole situation started. So my kids are anxious to see their cousins. I would love to see something painted white with wax and a wax mixed with farm fresh. <gasps> that would be good. That would almost be like using shipwreck. Have you tried shipwreck? That's the new DIY patina wax. It's like a turquoise wax. It's good. I use it a lot. Okay. Swap. Um, what is the box made of? It's pressed tin, wood, and the inside is lined with like velvet or velveteen. So all I'm doing is getting the paint wet and I'm going to pull back some of this detail. And the reason why I do this instead of sanding is because if you sand it, then it takes off all the color and it flattens the detail. So you just kind of get it wet and then you can take the paint off. See yeah, how it's coming off a little bit? I'm going to keep going though because the detail on this is what makes it awesome. Zeb, has anybody said anything about me painting that antique buffet? Um, no, actually the I'm response shocked. has been super positive on that buffet. So you guys, yesterday we posted a video, I painted this antique buffet and I thought for sure I was going to get some hate comments because it happens every time and I, I haven't seen any so I guess people people liked my chippy paint. It's going to look good in my house and it's going to be perfect to hide. I feel like because we're using it as a return air register, because when uh, to hide the, the, the vent there, the yeah, people are like, oh, that makes sense, paint it. <laughs> yeah, well, and it has to match my house, you know? And my house is going to be very white, sorry. Everything's shaking. I, it's one of my favorite pieces I've done in a long time. I kind of feel like I, I need to I think it's been a other. year since we painted anything for the house. I haven't painted anything for myself, really, and since we bought the farmhouse, because I've been not decorating it. Been anymore. waiting to see where everything's going to go. All right, so that's, that's why I love embossed tin because it looks so good distressed see on some of that hardware stress that i gotta get elbow grease i miss the days when you could find clorox wipes because they worked really good but you certainly can't use those for distressing now you can't even find them all right this side is pretty good All right, guys, what do you think of the color? They you won't hurt they, my feelings. They said that everybody loves it. Les said to hang a bucket on there for the horse to poop. You could. Les and I, we're a lot alike. We think the same things are funny. She's a little off color. I'm a little off color. That's why we're friends. All right. So if you guys recall, this is the box that was five dollars at di and then somebody bought it and then they dropped it off at the savers and it was 4.99 at savers plus 20 percent off because i had a coupon this is what you call doing a coat and a half i'm like drying it as it goes on like i'm just trying to be careful because this tin is a little sharp and i don't, don't want to make myself bleed on camera we got a first aid kit but we I'm up to, on my we don't, it's shot. just there it's just there for looks we don't want to actually use it our tetanus shot's good for 10 years i got one when i was pregnant with jack um, i think after five years if you get you gotta get a yeah. booster if you get hurt but you can wait 10 years okay unless i will paint the bottom of this later i'm in a slight bit of hurry all right you got the clear wax? Do you have a wax brush, then? I don't have a wax brush. All right, I'll keep trying. But I just got to get the neck up here in the saddle a little bit. You go get me some wax brushes. You're going to need one for the white wax, and I'm going to need clear and black. 
This is called speed painting because I think we've already been on an hour. Oh, we're at like seven. Oh, you minutes. missed. You missed. Well, I did like five times of shopping, so. There's like a little drip under the bum. Okay. There literally was a drip under the bum. It was for less. All right. A horse that knew less would think was funny. You really want to wait two hours before you wax, but you know, live TV. Are you going to let distress it or just go straight to wax? Uh, I think I'm going to just real lightly hit it. Okay, I'll let you use my rag. This one has some dark wax on it. These ones are clean. Okay. Those are just you can use for stencil brushes. Yeah, you got like a major chunk of paint there. It's going now. Let me dry off the wet distress. I'll, I'll show you this before I wax it because when it's wet, it's a different color. So the clear wax is going to make this darker, but that's what it looks like dry because clay paint dries lighter. And so you'll see when I put the wax on there that it's going to get lighter or darker, sorry. You always want a clear wax before you dark wax because otherwise it's just going to look like you smeared poop on it. And unless that's your jam, then I'll get messages and you'll tell me I can't get the wax off. And I'll say, did you clear wax at first? And you'll say no. And I'll say, well, you weren't paying attention. All right. She won't tell you that, but that's I what won't. she'll be thinking. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, Caitlin will be the one responding to the email, so she's all good about it. What's funny is I do read a lot of the emails, and Caitlin's like, you know, if you'd stop reading the emails, you'd have more time. But I get the notifications, and sometimes I read them, and then I give Caitlin the answer, so she doesn't have to ask me. All right. So this one, it's finished, will be $22.95, and I paid $5 for it, and I probably spent, mm, five minutes, maybe six. I could probably have done it faster, but I was talking. Took too much off. All right. Clear wax does help lift the dark wax. Yes, if you get dark wax when you don't want it, you can rub clear wax over the top. Do we have a rag that doesn't have water on it? Nope. Just go for it. All right. Well, I just need to get some of the excess wax off before I... Oh well, it is what it is today. You want a not wet rag. All right, so usually I use a stencil brush, but today I have the big mamma jamma. So we're gonna dark wax this. Then you would want a rag that's not wet, but this one is slightly damp. I'm just going to pull the dark wax off. Now I want more dark wax around the edge and less in the middle. So I'm going a little harder with my rag in the middle and voila. Let me dry that a little bit because it will lighten up. And it's gonna give us some great age. So this will actually melt the wax, but it dries it. I know that's weird. And it's gonna be splotchy for like the first 24 hours but once it dries, it's good. Now, do we have a white paint out? Um, I don't think so. I don't oh, there's know. tarnished pearl. Would yeah. you grab me just like a, a any brush? I don't care. Well, what I need They is... want copper on the brush, the horse too. Copper. You guys want a lot of things. There's All no right. time for that. There's no time, maybe later. Um, if you want to buy anything that we do or that we've shown, you can just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com. If you want to buy the paint and the products, you get those at jamierayvintage.com. If you like my shirt and you want home decor, vintage items, lotion, soap, we have some cologne now, some lip balm. You can buy all those things at jamierayvintagehome.com. All right. Uh, Cheryl says, good night, everyone. Remember that evil virus is still out there, so stay safe. All right, did you get me a paintbrush? Oh, no, I did not. 
sorry. Sorry. You could have used your gravel road one. It's close. I'm going to dry brush it, so I'm going to get most of it off. So when you dry brush, you get paint on your brush, and then you wipe a majority of it off so it's almost dry. And I'm just going to hit some top parts here. Sorry, I'm going real aggressive with this. <laughs> yeah. Shaking yeah. the whole table, trying to get this thing down in all these details. Just to add some variation in tone, so it's not so one-dimensional. And this is going to be really subtle because tarnished pearl is kind of a grayish white, the new version of it anyways. But you just kind of want to go over the tops of the embossed part. I'm doing a lot of faux finishing these days. And I've been practicing. Okay, now I'm going to pull a little bit of it off. I know. It's like, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. But that's kind of what you have to do. I feel like I need some white wax, too. Of course you do. Yeah, if you it's know. not white wax, you didn't touch it. That's true. Although I think it's really working with this force. Why wax is magic? Ma oh, oh, it's magic. So I didn't put any clear wax or anything on this. I just went for it with the white wax and I'm going to wipe it off as soon as I'm done, like in just a second here. Because you don't want to let that sit. Otherwise it'll be, it'll look all splotchy kind of how it does right now. Yeah, I'll take it on, put it off. Okay, this is the wet distress rag, like Jamie was saying, you know, normally a dry rag would be best for something like this, but going with what we got right here. You know, sometimes that's what it's all about. All right, I'm going to stop messing with this. I'm going to call it good, and I'm going to show you guys the parts. All right, there we go. So I'm going to do that to the whole piece. And when it dries, it's going to have more variation in tone because the gray won't be as dark. And then I'm going to buff it and it's going to be good. And it's going to look like an old beat up chest. So there we go. Let me go get a little treasure chest and I will clean up the edge. All you have to do is wait till the DIY paint dries and then just take a damp rag and anywhere where you haven't waxed it, you can clean that off. Les says thank you. Not too shabby says love the box. All right, guys, I think I have advertised everything a million times so you guys know where you can get the stuff. If you're watching the replay, we'll put those in the description box. Um, capes and cottages, I'm wearing a small, but if you're busty, you might upsize to a medium. I'm about 150 pounds. Um, let's see, are the thrift stores open in Georgia yet? I don't know. I have not been there. Does anybody know? Does tarnished pearl have a shine to it? No, so it's not like a pearlescent. It's like a, if you think of an old pearl necklace, how it's all kind of tarnished, that's exactly the shade that it is, and it's perfect. They knocked it out of the part. And Susie says she loves my speed painting. All right, we had a great time. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and we're gonna wait for just a second because Zeb is almost done with his horse. Well, I'm pretty much done. I need, to, I need a buff cool. brush. It is cool. We need to find the buff brush. I think it's lost. I love the horse. I mean, I might have loved it more farm fresh, but it's all it's, right. it's almost there. It's almost. We'll put farm it in fresh. Zeb's corner. All right, guys. Good night, Renee. Thank you for hanging out. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Bye, guys. Love you. Have a great weekend. What's left of it? Or if you're in Australia, it's almost done. Happy Memorial Day, you guys. <laughs>